Good morning, everybody. It is day five. I thought I'd show you around camp. That's the tent mahal right there. Got our uh, cook stove. Lou's got his jet broil over there. We got one, two, oh, three chairs. Trash bag, because we're not douchebags. And we're not having a fire because it's, it is super fucking dry up here. We also have our freezer right there. Water, compressor, ATV, generator that you hear back there in the background. Coffee, of course. Anyways, good morning. Day five, have a few more days out here. We're gonna go up to, uh, up past Goose Place where uh, we ran into those elk yesterday. See what we can come up with. So this morning we have some visitors to our lookout over yonder. There's two does and three fawns. You can't really see them very well, but that's the doe with the two fawns, and the other doe with the one fawn went over the hillside already. Pretty cool. We're in the wild. And I keep forgetting to look at my camera over here. I keep looking at myself. Anyways, yep, pretty legit setup over here. Onward. Well, we just found our first bull. Can't see them, they're like right behind that. Right behind that tree. There they go, they're right, right down at the tree line. Gonna try and get up here to the point. So, around, first I saw the cows, then uh, Luke saw the bull. Looks like the bull might have a busted leg or something, but we're gonna try and get up here to the corner of this ridge, get a better view of him. Um, yeah, I had to run back and grab my spotting scope and my tripod just to hopefully get a better view. So, see what happens. Well, I know you guys can't see them from here, but there are elk right there somewhere. Quite a few. There you go, guys. There's that bull. The wind's kind of screwing me up. It's a good bull. Big one. If I can get my phone scope steady. There we go. I can kind of see him there. Let me zoom out. looking bull. I don't think he's a shooter though.
fuck this phone scope bullshit. Definitely gonna buy a better fucking camera. Well, I got okay video of that one bull. We couldn't find the other bull. I think he was down in the valley a little bit further. But now we're hiking back to the four wheeler. Gonna jump on there. Gonna head over to the next ridge. See if we can spot any bulls over there. So, not bad. Good day. Two bulls. Luke said he saw the second bull. Looked like he had a broken leg or something. So, could have been the one that we're hearing down in the valley. But that other one, he was a nice, he was big five by seven. Good sized bull. But we're gonna find a bigger one. So, there you go. A little bit of a view of what we were looking at. I say onward. So, this is where we stopped. The night that we got in, there was a cow and a calf right down there, and there was another moose over there. But there ain't nothing. Not a thing. Anyways, since since the last video, oh, there we go. Since the last video, haven't seen anything. Luke saw a couple of bucks, uh, mule deer bucks and a doe, and uh, we saw the the one bull and a herd of cows. We heard a second bull down in that same drainage, but wasn't nothing that we could really see. We hiked back out, hopped on the four wheeler, and drove down to the next drainage there again wasn't anything really talking but it's the way we look at it it's just fun to be out here it's it's awesome seeing new country seeing and experiencing the wild in a different way I mean not everybody gets to witness this kind of bliss in their life so I feel really blessed to be out here with my buddy Luke I appreciate you being here man yeah I'm hoping that we are able to harvest a elk here in the next couple of days, but if not, Luke still has three months to get something, but I may not get it on video, but if I do, that's just a, a plus, and uh, Luke gets his, his big bowl and gets some meat in the freezer for him, and uh, I'm, uh, who knows, maybe I'll get a backstrap out of the deal. Yeah, quite possible. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get it on, yeah, though. Yeah, we'll... Uh, we're gonna head back up to camp and get some lunch. Today today and yesterday were just kind of relaxed days, so we're just kind of, yeah, talking, goofing off, um, checking out new territory, new drainages. Um, we're gonna go over to another valley after we get some food in our bellies and do the same thing all over again. So, rinse, repeat. Yeah, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Here in an hour or so, I'll take another video for an update and let you guys know what's going on. Hopefully my videos aren't that boring. I don't talk a whole lot in this series, but it's because we're, you know, we're really paying attention to what's going on around us versus trying to please the public. Trying to find a bull. Trying to find a bull. Yeah. And I mean, I've got, I think every day I've gotten bulls on video. So yeah. that right there, that's, I could care less about social media, but it's just fun to edit and put together. And there again, it's... We're not going to get our entire life to be able to do stuff like this, and it's not every day we get to do stuff like this, so it's awesome. Good friends, good time, good food for the most part. <laughs> Luke's wife makes really good food. Their freeze-dried meals are pretty bomb compared to my peak meals in Mountain House, so something to be said in that. Anyways, onward. onward. Until next time. Until next time. Down. 
just a little detour. Oh damn, that's a bull track right there. Yeah, <laughs> monster. So, just an update you guys, we have not seen any more elk. We haven't heard any, haven't gotten any responses. So, we're just driving down through this, which is a pretty nice little valley. Some bones, some more bones over yonder. Really uh, bony in here. Meh. Sorry, I know I'm sitting behind you. No pun. No talking about bones. <laughs> Show you a bone. Anyways, <laughs> just cruising. Going to see if we can uh, spot or call or something for some elk. So yeah, looks like there's a dead cow up here maybe. Is it a dead cow or is it just a salt lake? Oh, it is a dead cow. Yummy. Oh yeah, follow me, I dare you. Wallow? Yep, I'm gonna cruise around, see what happens. Well, we decided to get off the ATV and walk down this valley a little bit. We're actually walking up the ridge to a good vantage point. Maybe sit there for a little bit, see if anything comes out, do some calling see what happens going up to those rocks looking down in this valley so yeah that's where we're at We heard two bulls bugling, but one was 1,300 yards up the valley, and the other was about another 1,300 yards down the valley, and uh, it's getting pretty late in the evening. It's uh, about 6.30 now, so we're going to head up to another spot and do some more calling and lo looking and listening and see if we can get anything to respond and maybe do a stock and get eyes on, but... Other than that, pretty whooped. I took a nap earlier when we went back to camp, just a quick 20 minute nap. But uh, yeah, we're still trying, staying at it, staying positive. Luke and I are kind of pissing each other off a little bit, but we're getting over it, we're adults. Life is uh, too short to be pissed off. Yeah. Eh. I'm always angry, so. yeah. No, it's not bad. It's just a lot of work. It's fun, yeah. but it's frustrating and it's exciting. It's everything all rolled up into one. And there's a definite element of frustration to it. It's like we went from four days of just epic nonstop yeah. to where the hell? Where'd they go? <laughs> yeah. What are they doing? Yeah. It is what it is. It's frustrating, but that's why not everyone hunts. That's why it's hunting, not killing, right? Yeah, exactly. I just want to be killing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We'll keep you posted. Where are you? He's right up here somewhere. He has to be right here on that ridge, that ridge that we walked down into. It's gotta be. So, Luke and I decided to come out to this uh, spot we were in, what? Three days ago. Three days ago. So, was uh, I think that's episode two or episode three. Um, <clears throat> together. Anyways, sitting here, we have spotted three bulls but I'll show you. So there's one bull. God, you look nice. 
you can't see him. He's right there, middle of the screen. Just that tan spot. There's another bull right over here. Oh, no, sorry. Right over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's... He's still in the middle of it. Remember, he's popping over there now. Yeah, now we got another bull. But he's... And somebody else responded to him. You can't <laughs> really see him. I can barely see him with the naked eye. But, so there's a beef cow right there, that black spot. And then he's right there, right in the middle of the screen, another black spot. And then we have another bull right over there in those trees talking. Um, and then we have another bull on the other side of this ridge talking. And Luke saw a bull right up there by the mushroom tree. That, that was a cow. <laughs> we got we got noise going all over the place. And down there in the bottom, can't see her anymore. She moved up. But there's a moo ass. Just be bopping around down there looking She's for love. Still walking up. Is she? She's coming up the trail. She's facing us. Oh, I can't see her. Anyways, yeah, pretty, pretty epic, pretty exciting. There we go. Awesome view.